Hello everybody, in this video I'll talk you through setting up the Viking Village URP project in Unity, adding the FMOD Studio integration and setting up Steam Audio for use as a binaural spatializer. First of all, log into the Unity Asset Store and search for Viking Village URP and then click Add to My Assets. Then make sure you have the Unity Hub installed. I'm using Unity version 2021.3.7f1, which is the latest LTS version at the time of making this video. Make sure to download FMOD Studio. You can find that at fmod.com. Create a free account and click on Downloads here. I'm using version 2.02.07 and also make sure to download the FMOD for Unity integration plugin with the same version number. Then you also need to go to Steam Audio and download the Unity plugin and also the FMOD Studio plugin. Uh, there's a link to these resources in the description below. So assuming you downloaded all these resources, let's head over to the Unity Hub and create a new project. So for this, we're going to choose 3D URP. Let's give this a name. And create the project. So here's our new empty project. So the next step is to go to Window Package Manager and the Package Manager by default will show you all of the packages within your project, but you need to go to the packages in your assets. So click on My Assets. Click Load All if you have a long list like me. And then it should be somewhere at the bottom called Viking Village URP. Now I already downloaded this, so I just need to import it. This will give you a warning message asking you if you want to import it into your existing project or switch to a new one. But since we already created a new one, we can just click import. All right, there we are. So the next step would be to go to the Viking Village directory under Assets and then open up the Viking Village scene. Now that our scene has loaded up, let's press play. You'll be presented with a very nice fly through through the scene um, and you can actually switch between cameras using the letter C. So if you press C, you switch to the different camera where you can just control it manually and if you press C again, you go to the fly through again. But by default it will always start with the fly through, which can be a bit annoying if you do development for the scene. So let's switch that around. In the Viking Village directory, there is a folder called scripts. There is a control switch script here. Open it up in your IDE of choice. And then on line 17 right here, it says set controller state is true and you need to set this to false. Save it and you're good to go. So now when you play the scene, it will automatically go to manual control and then you can still switch back to the fly through uh, using the letter C. The controls for this scene are pretty standard. You use WASD to move around and well, use your mouse to look around. Um, you can press shift to speed up and run you can jump using space, and if you do double jump, double space, you can actually fly around the scene. 
a bit like God mode. Okay, let's head over to FMOD and set up a new project. So open up FMOD Studio, create a new project, and the first thing to do is to save this within the root directory of your Unity project. So go to File, Save As, create a new folder called FMOD, and save this. Now we can go back to Unity and import the integration package for FMOD in Unity. You can do that by go to, going to Assets, Import Package, Custom Package. I have this package saved here in a Resources folder. FMOD Studio package, import everything. And this will present you with a nice setup wizard. Let's start. So it's going to reorganize some plugin files and some event references. Click Next. Um, it will ask you for your FMOD Studio project. Well, that's the one we just created. So it's here in the FMOD directory. And select the FS Pro file. Click Next. Next, it will um, replace the Unity listeners on the cameras with FMOD listeners. So just click Replace, Next. You also need to disable the Unity built-in audio. All right, that's been disabled. Click Next. 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 Close. That's it for the integration. So the next step is to check if we can actually get some sound out of FMOD. To do this, we need to create an event within FMOD Studio. So let's go back. And here in the Events tab, right-click, create a new event, in this case, a new 2D timeline. We can rename this to Crickets. You can see that it currently has a hashtag unassigned, which means that this event has not been assigned yet to any bank. In order to change that, you can right click on it and then say um, assign to bank, browse, and then select the master bank. So now the tag is going away. And if you go to banks, you can double check that this event has now been assigned to the master bank. Now we also need some audio to play in this event. Uh, I went on to freesound.org and got a sound of crickets. Let me just drag that in here. Yeah, that's fine. Build it. Save your project. Go back to Unity. Go to the FMOD settings. Double check if your project path is set up correctly. Yes, it is. And now you can also go to FMOD Event Browser. I always like to have this right here. You can see that there is a Cricket event, which you can play and preview. You can also click the FMOD button and that will open it up in FMOD Studio. Now, I want to be able to hear this sound as soon as I start playing the scene. Um, for now, I'm just going to drag it into the scene that will create an empty game object called Cricket's Emitter. It's an empty game object with a FMOD Studio event emitter script attached to it. And there is a drop down menu for play event and stop event. So I want this to play at object starts. So let's see if this works.
Yeah, that works fine. The next step in our journey is to set up Steam Audio for both FMOD and Unity. I'm going to start out with Unity. So I have downloaded the Unity package right here. And this is just a matter of double clicking to install. Then it will ask you again if you want to run the setup wizard. You don't, so you can just click that away. Um, what is important is that you go to Steam Audio and then go into Settings and make sure that the audio engine is going to be FMOD Studio and not Unity. There's something weird about this plugin because it, it actually puts a couple of files in the wrong place. And if you don't move these files to the right location, you will get errors and you cannot run the scene. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Um, you need to go to Assets, Plugins, FMOD, and then under Lip. And for me, it's uh, obviously Mac, but for uh, if you're a Windows user, you should go in here. But for me, it's uh, under Mac. There is a file here called Phonon underscore FMOD bundle, and I need to move this to the platforms directory and then go to my platform mac lib so this file should go in here and if you are a windows user then you need to go to your windows directory and then take this file and put it in here so basically take this file and drop it in here. So we also need to install the Steam Audio for FMOD plugin into the FMOD project directory. So open your Explorer or Finder, go to your root directory of your um, Unity project. There should be a folder called FMOD there. Now, this is my actual FMOD project. Within this folder, create a new folder called Plugins. And there's a couple of files that you need to put in here. First of all, in the source directory, you have the phonon underscore fmod.plugin.js. So that needs to go in there. And then under lib, and also this depends if you're on Windows or Mac. Um, I'm going to do Mac first. I'm going to need to move the lib phone on underscore fmod.dilib and the phone on dot bundle. So these two files need to go into the plugins directory of your fmod project. If you're a Windows user, you should go in here, Windows X64. And you should take the phonon underscore fmod dll and the phonon dot dll. So these two. And also move them in this same directory. I'm not going to do that since I'm on Mac. but All right. And then there's one last step. Because in fmod, you actually need to use the plugin. So I'm going to open up my project. So this is the one here with the single cricket event. Now on the master channel of this event, you need to right click and add effect. Now this is actually outside of the screen. So let me just resize the window a bit so you can see. Add effect, scroll down to plugin effects, valve and choose the Steam Audio Spatializer. All right. Let's save this and build it. And then the final step is to go into the FMOD settings in Unity. Go to the platform specific options, click on editor, 
And down here where it says dynamic plugin zero, open this up, click the little plus sign and type in phonon underscore fmod. So this basically tells Unity that uh, fmod is using the Steam audio plugin. And now if we press play, the moment of truth. And there you go. Now Unity is spatializing audio coming from FMOD Studio using the Steam Audio Spatializer. I hope you found this video useful. Um, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Cheers.